people who read. The name of the book that we'll talk about it today is Talking to My Daughter About Economy by Janis Varoufakis. So this is the book, Talking to My Daughter About Economy. So you can see in the name of the book that is Economy. Personally, I never thought about economy. I never read about economy. I never watched about economy. I mean, on opposite, if there is a news is talking about economy on the TV, I'm just gonna switch, on, switch off or change to another channel. For one main reason, economy is not my thing. And uh, there are people who studied this, they are economists, and I mean, they do it in the best way. I was letting it on them. And by the way, I found out something. The more I was letting it on them, the more these people were using us. The book is full of stories. So I chose two stories that I like them the most, or it like impressed me the most. One is how the banking system is working, how your bank is working, how you can protect yourself from a bank. And the second thing is like, how is the process of deciding the salaries? Who is deciding the salaries is gonna be increased or decreased? So today I'm gonna cover about the bank. On the next video, I'm gonna cover about the salary. So as I told you, the book used a lot of examples and the stories and he used two nice examples about the bank system. I'm gonna share it with you. So I always dreamed of having a bicycle and I just found a bicycle with a very reasonable price, which is $400. I don't have cash right now. The bike shop wants only a cash, $400 to sell the bike. So what I can do, I can just go to the bank, rent this 400, I mean loan, take a loan of this $400 and pay it to the bike shop. And uh, like pay it back to the bank in one or two years, something like this, hallelujah, the problem solved. I have the bike, I will pay back to, to the bank in uh, one or two years and everything is good. Okay, a question, from where the bank gonna get this $400? Answer, it's not my business. Okay, even if it's not my business, let me give you a I mean, standard example, all of us who are using it. The same way that I'm gonna go to the bank to loan, to take a loan of $400, another client is gonna go to the bank and he freezes his money uh, in return of certain commission. And let's say that this person freezes like uh, $10,000. So the bank has a $10,000 from this X person in return of a commission. He's gonna take only $400 from this $10,000 for me and it's gonna give it to me. So everyone is happy. He's taking his commission. I'm taking my bicycle. Once again, hallelujah. Okay, I will go to the second level and I will make the question harder. What if instead of me buying a bicycle, you, gonna go and buy a building in a very likely place and you're gonna make an investment of 50 million dollars so you're gonna say i'm gonna go to the bank and i'm gonna tell to the bank give me 50 million dollars and the same way that you are asking for a loan 50 million dollars you assume that there is someone else is putting 100 million dollars so the bank is gonna take his money and give it to you that's your wrong answer as per Yannis Varoufakis, he's telling the bank is not giving a money from person who put who freezes his amount of hundred million dollars. The bank is giving you money from nowhere, just nowhere, from a thin air, from just nowhere. What is the bank doing on his system? He's putting your name, and next your name is putting five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. It's a five million another one zero, it's a 50 million. And this is how you're taking your money from just nowhere. The bank is giving the money to you from thin air, nowhere. I can see that right now you're asking, I mean, once again, money, I don't care as far as I'm getting my money. So why do I care from where they are getting the money, how they are replacing the zeros and the numbers? Well, that's another correct answer. But let me ask you another question. What if you have money in the bank? You're not gonna take a loan, you have money in the bank. And just tomorrow morning you wake up and you wanna go and take all your money back from the bank. So if your money is small, as per Yanis, if your money is small, 90% of the time you're gonna take the amount immediately. If you have a big amount in the bank, uh, then we, if you have a big amount of a bank and the bank is in the good days, 
I mean, the economy is in the good days. You can have some question answer sessions, what you wanted, how much you wanted, you want all your money and the stuff, as if it's not your money, but you will get it gradually. If the economy needs bad days and the bank is passing through bad days, you will not get your money. Your money will not get it. So after the question answer session, you will go days, weeks, months, sometimes even years, and you will not get your money. I mean, just go right now on Google and write about name of a bank, name of a countries that the people are struggling to take their money, their money. I can feel right now that you want to ask me a question. I can hear that you're asking to me, okay, explain to us how this bank is, how the bank business is running. So as for the book, Basically, when you are coming and asking for $50 million, the bank is just giving to you this $50 million without in reality having this $50 million. So already giving a loan to you, it's a risk. But the bigger risk is when they are giving money to people without doing a correct investigation. So nowadays in some countries and in some banks, you can just check that they are giving loan to anyone without having a really big researches or investigation and with and assuming that this person will return the 50 million dollars on time after five years so the bank is assuming that you will stay working perfectly during these five years you will not bankrupt and he's assuming that you will not face any problem and he will get the money back after five years as you promised but like it's a risk, you know, there is a high possibility that you're gonna bankrupt, there's a high possibility that something's gonna happen and your business is not gonna go. So if they are not doing the correct research, the correct investigation, and they are giving a loan here and there for every single thing, then there is a big problem. And uh, as per Yanis, so the, bi the more a bank is giving a lot of loans for every single thing, the more this bank is risky. The more you see a bank which is giving high commissions for freezing the amount, the more this bank is risky. I can see that you're shy and you want to ask another question. I'm going to assume that I'm hearing this question and you're asking, okay, what if I want my money back from the bank? I mean, I want my money to get it from the bank. How the bank is going to do? What, what, to whom the bank is going to run? So. In this case, the bank will run to the daddy of the bank. So there is the bank and there is the father, the daddy. The daddy of the banks is the central bank. So when the bank is not able to return your money back, it's gonna go to the central bank. And the central bank is gonna loan to this, the child who is in the street, I mean the bank, uh, your bank, I mean, uh, $50 million to give it back to you. Of course, in this case, the central bank is taking a risk as well, but taking a risk is more important than uh, like um, securing the reputation of the bank, securing the system of the banks. So yes, the central bank will run to save your bank, which is not able to give you money in order to not let his reputation be ruined or a rumor just come outside. So what I'm trying to explain that the central bank won't allow a rumor to appear about any bank. This is where the term comes, too big to fail. So, how it's working then? Right now, I think all of us were thinking the same thing. Instead of the daddy, the central bank, punishing this, this child, this bank, which, take, which, which took a wrong decision by giving loans here and there, he's going and saving his reputation by giving him a $50 million to give it back to his client. So how this is happening? Look, let me tell you something. That the thing that the central bank and all the other banks are afraid is the rumors. Okay? Is the rumors that this specific bank doesn't have money. So now, this, my, this, this is a reply of a question that many people might ask. Is the central bank gonna save the specific banks, or all the banks, or, or how it's gonna work? Yes, the central bank not gonna save only this bank who made a problem because if this bank has a problem, accordingly, all the banks have a problem. How? It's very simple. You went to your bank to take your $50 million, which is your money. The bank is not able to give it. Okay. Accordingly, you're not able to pay salaries 
to your employees, which they have an amount of uh, which their account is in another bank. So you are your account is in X bank, your uh, employees account is in Y bank. Okay, so because you didn't pay salaries to your uh, employees, your employees went to the Y bank and took their money from a Y bank because they are not receiving the salaries. Accordingly, they were not able to pay the rent of the home. The owner of the home went to the Z bank and took his money back. So now everyone is really drawing his money from the banks. So one bank has a problem, pop, 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 like a domino. All the other banks is going to start having a problem. So the central bank doesn't want this problem to happen. So he runs and saves the one who has a problem by giving him a, a loan of 50, 60, 70 million dollars. Go give it to your client, fix your situation. Don't let this problem spread out in all the banks. So this is how all the banks are related to each other with the central bank. So the biggest question from where the central bank is taking his money or what if the central bank is not able to give from where, how? Look, let me just simplify it in one word. If there is an economic problem and the central bank is not able to do anything, the only person who is able to help is the state. I mean the government. That means if X person is not able to pay his loan to the bank accordingly, as if he has a debt to this bank, as if he has a debt to the state. And in such cases, the state or the government is the one who's interfering to save the situation. And of course, this is going to cause so many economic problems to this state. This is briefly how I'm trying to explain the bank, prob the bank issues or the bank uh, things. So um, if you want to read about the bank thing, uh, in, you don't want to read the book, but you want to read the, the bank thing, so uh, he's talking about the bank from 61 to 79. So, uh, sorry, from 65 to 79, the black magic of banking. So uh, this 15 pages is talking about the banking, what exactly what I was explaining, but you can read it in a better way. Now, uh, what I'm gonna say, like, unfortunately, this type of things we are not taking in our schools, nor in our, the debates, nor in the universities, maybe. So I will encourage you to have this book at your home, at least to educate yourself and to understand the economy. And believe me, after reading the book, you're going to understand so many things and so many analysis you're hearing from the TV. Stay safe, stay home and like start understanding the economy. Have a good day.